Hello everyone, this is Q, and in today's video, we will cover basic concepts in mathematics. There are three things we will be covering today. Number one would be numbers. Second would be positive and negative integers. And last, we will go over some of the basic symbols in mathematics. So let's get started. First, we will start with numbers. These are 10 digits that represents numbers. Each of these digits represent a value. Though the value grows as you go from left to right. In math, all the numbers that you would ever come across would contain one or many of these, these digits. Next, I would like to talk about the number line. The number line has negative and positive integers. An integer is a whole number. An integer cannot be a decimal or a fraction. So it would be something like 1, 2, 3, etc. On a number line, as you can see, in the center is 0. On the right is positive integers. So as you go right, the numbers will keep growing. And this goes up to positive infinity. On the left of 0, you will have negative infinity integers. These represent negative numbers. As you go further, you will keep going towards negative infinity. And last, we will talk about symbols. So let's, let's do an example to understand how the symbols work. Let's look at two numbers, 6 and 7. Now, in order to show that 7 is greater than 6, you would use the symbol this. If you look at another example, say 8 and 6. In order to show 8 is greater than 6, you would use the symbol this way. Now, in order to remember how to use the symbols, think of it like Pac-Man. The side where you have the mouth open would be large. The side where you have the mouth closed would be small. So, for example, when you look at 6 and 7, the side where the mouth is open has represents the larger number, which is 7. The, mouth, the side where the mouth is closed represents the smaller number, which is 6. In this example, the mouth is open towards 8. So 8 is a larger number. The mouth is closed towards 6. 6 is a smaller number. The last symbol is equal to. This is pretty straightforward. Let's look at two numbers, 4 and 4. All this says is 4 is equal to 4. So the value of 4 is equal to the value of 4. There is another symbol that is basically not equal to. So it's just equal with a cross. So here, for example, if it was 5 and 3, now we know 5 is not equal to 3, so we would put that symbol in the middle. And that covers basic concepts. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.